All six redistricting bills have to be passed general file by Saturday. If we are not able to do that general file by Saturday, all the bills and we will adjourn. The Nebraska legislature is at an impasse. If the legislative body can't find an agreement on the two most controversial redistricting maps, then the legislature will end the session early and go home. 3 News Now reporter John Kipper joins us live in the newsroom to explain what that could mean. Yeah, Vanessa, those two maps in question are the congressional and legislative maps. And if they don't pass those maps until next year, Secretary of State Bob Evnen told me over the phone that the May primary election would have to be delayed. We don't have a way out yet. We're, we're still stuck. The nonpartisan unicameral is at a deadlock on redistricting legislative and congressional maps. Pride ourselves in Nebraska of having a nonpartisan unicameral. Of course, that's not entirely true, but you know, at least they, they make an effort in that direction. But the the real weak point in that is certainly redistricting. So while it's always hard, this year it's especially difficult for the group given the U.S. Census data, the main basis for drawing the maps. The pandemic pushed the timetable back, a process that usually takes months forced into a two-week special session. So it's a lot of work that has to happen over a very short timeline. Josie Schaefer is director for UNO Center for Public Affairs. She says the reason the unicameral needs to pass new maps quickly is because they're not the only ones that need to redistrict before 2022. County boards, city councils, school boards, and other local governments use that data to draw their own maps. And it's not that we have to match their boundaries, but that we want to be considerate of those boundaries to help people understand who and why they're voting and to make sure when you show up at a precinct, there's not multiple ballots. So far, the Republicans have pushed for a vote on two maps, a congressional map that splits Douglas County and a legislative map that Democrats and a few Republicans don't like for a variety of reasons. Democrats successfully filibustered both leading Hilgers to a statement Tuesday. Yeah, I'm sure part of his motivation is to try to put a little bit more pressure on and say, look, here's the alternative, and the alternative is not very good, so please get to a solution now. Former mayor and Congressman Hal Dobb urges the unicameral, specifically Democrats, to come to the table and compromise. I honestly think we'll get a compromise. He suggests that if maps aren't passed, a lawsuit could potentially come from a candidate who cannot file because they don't know what district they're in could go to federal court to ask the court to draw the lines. And that may be some of what's in the minds of some of the folks in the Omaha Douglas County area. Secretary of State Bob Ebnan told me over the phone that he would encourage the legislature in the strongest possible terms to complete their work this week because he doesn't want to have to postpone the primary. Senator John McAllister, a Republican who sides with Democrats on redistricting, says he'd rather go back in January than pass an unfair map. I'd almost claim that a no map is better than a bad map. You know, given the fact you only do this every 10 years, you need to do it right. And McAllister has pushed for a redistricting commission like Iowa uses in the past. That's in which a nonpartisan body draws the maps themselves. And that was actually passed in Nebraska in 2016, but it was vetoed by Governor Ricketts. Reporting in the newsroom, John Kipper, 3 News Now.